Hello everyone. So today is Mixed Media Wednesday. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I said I would and so I decided to make a start today. So why not? Um, I hope you're not too close. I'm, I get the feeling you're on top of me a little bit there. That might be a bit better. You don't think you need to see, um, you know, anyway, it's fine. So, um, yeah, for those of you who didn't watch my video on my little um, scroll, um, you wouldn't have seen these. Um, so the scroll videos, I did two there yesterday. And these are the cards that I showed on that video so these are some postcards that i made a couple of days ago i just don't think you can see them yeah just that's interesting because that's all the space i have to work i mean it's just i need a longer arm for my um but then it might be too far away so who knows anyway um i'm not an expert i don't you know i just i'm just trying to do my best with what i have so um these are the little postcards so these are watercolor so what i've what i did is i cut out these i had my sheet of paper let me just grab my watercolor pad for you guys if i can find it there oh no that's not it where is it i don't know what i've done with it now oh there it is so I bought this um, from off the internet. It's really quite thick, good quality. Um, it wasn't really expensive though, but it is quite good. It's called student grade, but it is quite good. It's 300 uh, grams a square metre. And, um, you know, it's just really nice. I found it really nice. So I used this. So basically I took a page out here. and cut it into four and so i have four postcard sized pieces but i'll deal with that in a minute so so that's what these are and then i used splashed watercolor and i kept to a minimum palette um of grays blues and then a sort of yellow and green while mixing in um i did some stenciling stamp a little butterfly stamped some words and then i put a fussy cut flower on and i did some splashing you know and things like that and maybe some i used a posca pen to do some dots so very simple and not although you know people somebody might say well yeah i can't do that i can't do use watercolor i can't do you don't need to have any particular skills to just blend a few watercolours together and I'm going to show you how. So this, I thought we'd start with this today. Um, I was thinking about doing something else but I think this is, even though it might look complex, it's not and I, that's what I want to show you. I don't want to put you off but I want to show you how relatively easy it is to do this. It's not as difficult as maybe it looks. So um, that's what I wanted to do today. But what I will in incorporate into the, um, you know, the the session. Um, so this session will go on for an hour at least. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, no surprises there. Right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to, I've got my a board here. Hopefully they will fit on here. They won't, will they? I don't think they will. No, they won't. What did I use last time then? Maybe I just stuck them to here. But that would be unusual for me to do that. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to just stick them down here using masking tape. Now, there's my masking tape. I have a real problem with masking tape. Um, it, whenever I try, I don't know if you guys have the same, but whenever I try to you know take it off it rips in not a great way but this is doing well so far so i'm going to just put this down try and put them a little bit closer 
so this will just keep them in place when I'm and also they'll help with the buckling you know of the water of the um, paper if it starts to buckle so let's get this down try not to be too fussy about it this will just give you a nice edge so you already am making a mess of it but this will give you a nice clean edge like this around your sometimes the paint seeps through you can't help that it's just how it is so don't worry about it okay there. if i can get oh see you see that was me though i you know i mean i have to blame myself for that because i wasn't being careful so if I start again do it nice and carefully and then pop it down oh no it's, I have to unravel it now <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear I had it yesterday when I was doing the um the stitching thing you know I mean you could call me stress head I don't mind I was just for something that was supposed to be relaxing i got myself in well it didn't wasn't that bad but you know <laughs> i'm not exactly relaxed sometimes i rush things it's in my nature i think to um to rush things and other times i'm really patient and you know take my time but i can see that's not exactly um straight so i'm going to lift that back up I want them to be relatively straight just for aesthetic purposes <laughs> hopefully that won't now seep through but if it does seep through i'm not you know i'm not terribly worried about it because it can it can happen and it just doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's just a bit of fun we're just doing postcards it's not like i'm you know doing a masterpiece or anything um Again, that's not very, not that I would ever be able to do a masterpiece. <laughs> but there you go, I've never been a painter, even as a fine artist, I, you know, I was never a painter. I was uh, more into sculpture and um, installation work and 3D work. I did do some, I think I've said before, I did do some um, mixed media work in the past so I'm showing you that I mean I could have had this all set up for you but no I think it's important that you see this this helps for you as somebody who you know I will have a mix of people watching this and I'll have experienced people and people who are not so experienced and for those who are not experienced this just takes away some of the fear I think of doing it don't worry if you get it wrong don't worry if it's a bit wonky it doesn't matter okay so I mean look here I just want to show you start off these are not straight you can see that's got a thin line there and actually it bled through there there's got thicker lines at the top that one hasn't so there's no you know there's no pressure here you're just doing the best you can with what you have so now I use uh, my tin watercolour. I tend to gravitate to this one. I don't know why, but um, it's my oldest one, I suppose. And for now, it's my oldest one anyway. Well, no, it actually isn't, but it's, I do have older ones, but I wouldn't think of using them. And I do have that one. The difference between these is I do have a, a white in this as well and some different colours. So, and then I have, I never opened this one. There we go. Um, yeah, have these um, shimmery ones. So if I want to use them, pearlized ones. So, um, so um, just yeah. Um, I also have some watercolors 
So I've got a nice Chinese white there. If I need to use that, although I want this, that's an acrylic colour. We don't need that. So I'm going to start off with putting watercolour down. And, that, and while we're waiting for the watercolour to dry, once you've done all of that, then I, what I would do is go through some of the resources that you could use to, you know, use your focal point, which is I used a fussy cut flower, but in this one, I'm going to do something different. These are all fussy cut flowers. So they were printed and then fussy cut. And for those of you who don't know what fussy cut is, it's just basically cutting around a shape. Um, a flower, a bird, a butterfly, tend, those tend to be the, the shapes that we use in junk journaling. But you can use any shapes, you know, animals, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be anything, you know. Um, it's your choice. So let's make a start on doing some painting. So now I use, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not posh. I don't have loads of expensive brushes because I'm not... I have a lot of brushes, but none of them are expensive. Um, you know, I just use what I have um, and I've had over the years because I used to teach rather than paint myself, I would be teaching. So this is a just a, a cheapy one, but it's got a nice tip on it. I can use that. Um, but this is the one I like to use just to spread some water around. So I'm going to spread a bit of water around on this one first because if I spread it on all of them well no let, let's do that let's spread it on all of them because then so you if you've got a big brush you could use if you haven't got a large brush I mean mine isn't large exactly it's just you know it can put a lot of water down quickly um yeah just just some water down you can um spray it some people use spray bottles to put. I like to use this because it puddles um, in different places. Well, I guess a. Um, let's stop talking, Julie. Right now, so as I say, I'm using a limited palette. So I'm using. Um, I want to show you because I think you can't see. Um, so this is my palette. Just. I just thought to myself, you might not be able to see everything there. Okay, so you can see there. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is my palette. Um, and you can see these are the colours I tend to use the most often and I used recently. So I'm going to just use those again. So I could reactivate some of them. So let's do green, for example. Now I like to, um, you can see the colours in my palette that I use the most. If you look, these colours in grey. I like to use grey a lot, but it, that doesn't, you wouldn't know that. So I like, this. Uh, the ones I did had a spring theme, so you can stick with that if you like. Um, I like to add a little bit of brown in mine just to give it a bit of a an olive each horn right so i'm just going to drop some this is how i'm doing it i'm dropping it in i'm not do need quite a lot of paint on so you want that pigment otherwise but you can go over it to put more pigment on and i'm just going to roll my pa my paintbrush across to this side so as you can see no skill involved just the, the ability to roll a paintbrush across a paper that's all it is and then I'm not you know worrying where it goes I'm not um yeah I'm just being you know um just yeah rolling it okay I might put a little bit up there and a bit down here and then now I'm going to Look at my blues. Actually, I started with green and I would never usually start with green, but that's okay. I'm going to put some blue down now. I need a bit more. Just move that out the way so it lies a bit flatter. Oh, 
right let's just I can see this is going to be a lot like watery um, because I put a lot of water down so maybe the colours won't be as vibrant so I might need to do a second um, layer but it doesn't matter um, as you can see you know life isn't perfect and um, I don't I want the colours to blend a little bit uh, I don't want them to sit on their own now I'm going to go in with some grey because I want this grey now what I usually do is I just usually add the grey to the edges it's sort of to me it's a bit like um, a moody sky if you like or a you know <sighs> let's say April showers are, are on the horizon um, because generally in spring they are and especially in April and May, um, March um, I'm very, always very aware of the, the showers in March and April just because it's around you know my birthday and um, so if you if there's something you don't like and I forgot you know, okay, I can use this. So ordinarily I'd use kitchen roll, but I've got some loo roll here. I can use that. If there's something you don't like, you can dab it off a little bit. You can clean your paintbrush. Take all the water off, dab it on there. And then you can just roll your brush and it will take some of it off. If it's too intense or whatever, if you don't like it, I'm okay with that. Right, so now I'm going to go for some yellow because I'm, this is spring colours. So I'm just reactivating and putting some spring colour down. Um, I don't use a spray bottle, but I know that they come in handy and I before I started I realized I should I wanted to get one just to you know um, have it handy to use if I wanted to but um, it's not it's not here um, you know to hand I mean I find it very difficult to concentrate and, and talk at the same time <laughs> really struggle um, but this is different this isn't um, this one is very wet so it's not doing what I want it to do so I'm just going to take some of that wetness off a little bit and that will be my background you can do the same if it's too wet and then um, I will wait for it to dry and I will do it again but the others are not too bad this one's a bit wet as well I didn't really need to put an awful lot right blue I don't want blue no I want um what do I want? Maybe a little bit of purple. Just oh splashing purple around just to add something else in. And it's not quite the grey, the same as the grey. It's just a little bit of something else. Those moody skies, the showers. So you can see I'm just dabbing it on. I'm not doing anything, you know, complicated um, or anything like that. Now, I do like to leave some white spots, a bit too much there. Um, so, yeah, I don't like to completely cover everything. I'm just going to dab off some of that excess. And then you can see, I mean, they've got... They're a little bit wet for my for my liking, but that but again, it doesn't matter. Now I don't have one of those heat tools, but I do have a handy hairdryer. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to just pause you while I do that. <laughs> you don't want to listen to that. Right. So these are, are dry enough now. So I'm just going to put my watercolor away. I don't need that taking up space, and I'll show you the next step. So I hope that was easy, you know, 
I hope that that was how you imagined it might be. Um, it's fairly straightforward. There's nothing too complicated here. I just want to make sure that you're in frame. Yes, you are. Right. So now with these, I just used one of my smaller stencils. I used this one and just moved it around. Sorry, this one. Now, I was thinking this fits almost perfectly and I thought to myself, you know, how I like my, uh, I like to go over, you know, if there's a set, I like them to, to sort of feel cohesive. So I decided that I'm going to do on here. Now, I used gold on the last one, so I think... I'm going to stick with gold. I'm going to use this. I don't, I don't want to get any sort of paints and things out. So I'm just going to use this. I have a feeling oh, it's upside down. Sorry if I'm um, bashing the, you know, table. I, um, yeah, I mean, there's other things I could have used, I guess. I'm probably going to run out of this before long. I've been using it. I mean, I've had it ages. <laughs> Feels like it's running out to me. Let's have a look. Oh, no, okay. Okay, happy with that. Okay, Um, I, I'm happy with that. It's background, so all of this. These are quite dominant, but they won't be once I've finished. So don't worry about that. Right now, so what I wanted to do is talk about what to put on next. So I, I'm getting all lots of stuff out here. I'm just going to put things away a little bit. Um, I'll put my stencil back there. So what I have. Or what you know and what you might have are fussy cut flowers so i'll get some out to show you so some of them oh they would look nice they look nice on me on those the other thing i have are magazines like this so this is a um, seed magazine and you have flowers that you could easily fussy cut out there so that's a good source and it, and they don't, you know, you could, with this, what you could do is actually cut a few out and layer them on top of each other. That might look quite nice. There's a nice one there. So that gives you idea of a colour palette as well. And there's another one here with similar things in. Again, you can, you know, I mean, it's just beautiful. So you could could use that very easily I mean imagine cutting that out so the other thing is magazines so I have a lot of old magazines I I when I saw that I thought that that would be nice sort of cut out and then used you know to decorate something not these but something else so um you could actually, what you could do as well is if you liked colours like this, you could cut them out into flower shapes and use those. If you if you didn't have flower or magazines that had lots of pretty images in, you could just take colours, for example, some of this, um, and add them. I mean, that's a lovely spring colour. Um, pages like this from a um, box, you could cut out. They're not very bright. These are sort of vintage books, but you could cut some of them out um, if you wanted to. You know, they've got some nice colours. So very similar actually to these, if you look. Um, so, and then, so you, these magazines, as I said, you know, you can find things in them. That are not so, um, let's just see. Lovely 
orange um yellows dark yellows and mustardy colors oh and there you go i mean that they're large but they might give you inspiration for painting a flower if you wanted to try painting on there so that's one um, this one how lovely is so, it so you could maybe cut out something from the cover if you wanted to You could you could cut out go back to this. You could cut this out for leaves, so you could just make some leaves out of this if you wanted. Don't know if there's any flowers in this, but how pretty pretty colours in all these. And you've got more there, you could cut that out more green so there's plenty of things inspiration wise in magazine i mean look at that that's beautiful so you could cut that out there you go so lots of things in magazines and then i have this this is a really handy book this is the kew gardens flowering plants coloring book from the Botan royal botanic gardens so I what I normally do with this for I use them in my journals because they're such beautiful colours. The pages are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colour of the pages. And I, I mean the backgrounds as well as the look at that lovely green. So what I normally do is I you know I cut take them out of the book and then I fold them in half and then one half gets that, the other half gets that. And then two halves get this. So it, you really get a lot out of something like this. You can all colour in. So this is designed so that you can colour in and, and do it yourself and then cut it out. So, you know, it's entirely up to you what you do. But this is an amazing resource for, for people like us, you know, wanting to do these fussy cuts and things. And you don't have to cut them out, but um, they're there to inspire you with the colours. So you could use crayons, pencils, paint, whatever you want. I just think this is a brilliant resource. I might have to buy another one because I'm using up at a fast pace. So there we go. So you have those. And then the other thing is, um, oh yes, I've got these as well. So I, I ripped these out. So these came out of the magazine as well. So this inspired me to draw it where is it i put it down somewhere there it is um, this is my version of that and i basically all i used was um a charcoal pencil and then i added water so that you know you can get inspiration just by looking at something i mean i love these leaves and what you could do is go out find a leaf Put some paint or whatever you have on ink on it and then stamp it on your stamp it on here you know um and that was just a silly little you know mess about with the same thing these are some sketches that i've done in the past that i could use some little flower shapes animals so there's all sorts of stuff that you could do um you know and then rip them out i mean you don't even have to use the whole of that you could just use the flower so if you didn't like this bit or you could just use the leaves so let's just rip out some of this i'm going to rip out these leaves i'm going to sacrifice those because i wasn't so keen on them but i do quite like that so if you wanted to do a collage for example you could add that somewhere now you might think that looks odd on this background but you know we're talking about mixed media um and those would fit in lovely but we are talking mixed media so do you want something you know that will go exactly with that do you want something to blend or do you want something to stand out you know if that's your choice that those are the choices that you can make you know i will use this in another I won't use it here, but I could use it in another mixed media. Um, and I will be using it, in fact. I don't waste anything. So so there you go. There's some ideas. So um depends what you want to do. 
So the other thing is you can draw using chalk, charcoal. I used a charcoal pencil. I um, don't know if I can find Yeah, there it is. So I used, um, well, that's a watercolour pencil, not that one. I used this one. It's a, oh, it's a pastel pencil. So what I could do is I could just do some, you know, some mark making in here. Just, you know, do this. Now, you might think, oh, she's spoiling it. She's spoiling it. You know, what is she doing? But this is what mixed media is, you know. And we're, um, it doesn't have to be, if you make a mistake, you can cover it over. If you feel that you've made a mistake, I'm just doing, and I might do is do some flower shapes. I'm happy to do this. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not, it's not like I'm, um, I'm doing this and, and uh, worrying about it, just doing some shapes. Um, because at the end of the day, I can cover them off. Just do something along there as well. It's nice to just let your hand go free and do something like that. So now let's have a look. What did I decide to use? Oh, I love that lemon. I absolutely love it. I mean, you could use half the lemon. On one of those sheets. Um, what else have I got? See if there's anything else quickly. So I did these. Um, I pulled these out of the magazine. I showed these the other day so I can use them on something else. I don't want them on this one. But I could use some of these. These are my um, jelly prints. So I could cut them up and just use parts of them. Well, they've, got, they've got flowers on them as well, so I could use some of that. I might use some of that, actually. Let's have a look. Got some nice blue on the back as well. I think I wanted to use some of this. I want to cut this. Hello. I've got this as well, which is really lovely. But I'm not sure about the colour now, looking at it next to there. I think it's too much. So I think I'm going to go for this, the square. So these are for my jelly print, and I will do a jelly print session. I love this. I know it's very subtle and you can barely see it. In fact, I could use that because that's more... Um, Invisible. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into quarters. Maybe a bit. To give me a piece of it. And I'm going to rip the rest. This is just on... Actually, I might want to keep the border. This is just on... No, I don't. Um, newsprint. So I just did some printing on newsprint. So I might put that down. Just going to go a bit closer to the flowers. I'm hoping that you can see me and I haven't. I'm just doing some fussy cut tearing. I, I quite like that on there. So I'm going to put that there. Again, you know, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, she's spoiling it, you know, don't do it, you're spoiling it. Um, you know, don't worry about it. This is just for me to show you the possibilities. And also, I'm going to rip a bit more off, actually. I just want to show you the possibilities. And, I'm, you know, I can easily cover it off. I've just realised I've... Oh, I could take off that now. Let me just pop this down and then I'll take the, the tape off. Yeah, I like that. So that blends in, but I like it. So I'm just going to take the tape off. Now you can see them separately. I really like them. So And I like this. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to glue that down a little bit more. So they didn't bleed as much as I thought they were bleeding, but anyway, that's okay. That's good. You know, you don't. 
particularly want them bleeding, but it's not a disaster if they're done. Right, so I really like that. So I'm going to take a bit off each one and do it for each of them. This one, I'm going to put it here. I love the blue on... Oh, sorry, you can't see. I love the blue on the on the background here. In the back of it, rather not the background, but the back of it. Yep, like that. Um, as I say, it's blending in, but that's what I want. So I'm just going to cut this one in half. And I'm going to tear around this one. This one, I'm going to put it up here, I think, or in there. Yeah, that's good. It sort of covers some of the area that, um, you know, a wider area across the page. So let's have a look. Pop that on there. Now, don't worry if you go over the edge of here. I, I like that. I like to take the page, you know, whatever I'm doing over the edge. It doesn't all have to be um, in the you know, exactly right spot. Right, I've now got this bit to do. I'm just fussy. All right, let's have a look on this one. Hmm. No, I don't want it there though. I think I'm going to put it there. There. I would put it here, but I like. Um, no, I don't like it there. I think. Yeah, I think it's going to go here. Oh, I love that blue on the back. I'm going to maybe put some of that in as well. There we go. So that's that. Um, yeah, as I say, I love this blue. So I'm going to just put some of this on in different places as well. I just love it. It's just a beautiful colour. So... Let's have this. There, and then we'll do this one. Down here, I think. Yeah, there. Or maybe not there, actually. There, I think. Yep, yeah, like that. So it's coming together. For me, you know. Again, this is my taste. You know, your taste might be different. You might be thinking, what is she doing? <laughs> But this is just, you know, my exercise in, um, oh, what about a cross like that? That's nice. Um, this is just my, me doing what I enjoy and choosing papers that I like. And, and there's a lot of yellow there. I'm going to disrupt that yellow a little bit. No, I don't like that. I'm going to cut that edge. I think there. I mean, I'm lucky that I've got a fairly blank, even though there's watercolour on there, it's fairly blank, really. You know, there's not a lot of, a lot on there. It's just what it is, is, you know, background. Right, so... And I love that mark. Okay, so we've done this. I'll 
little bit of blue I can use there if I want to use any blue. And just remember to use that blue on some things. Right, okay, now what's next? Now, do we want these leaves? I'm just going to cut some out. Oh, I'll cut that bit out there. I'm not sure actually. I think we'd be better off making our own, maybe on a different day. So I'm going to put that there. And I think I'm going to put a flower on here now. So I'm going to have a look in the magazine because, oh look I've got a nice piece of blue there. I'm going to look in these because I've got these and I'm, you know, I know that some of you won't have print, you know, printers to do, you know, fussy cut from, um, so these might be something you can get hold of to do some florals. So colour wise, mm, purple worked really well. I like that. I'm going to cut that out. I don't know if it will work but I'm going to cut it out and see if I can make it work. So we're just using the resources that we have, like I said, if you haven't got magazines you can apply to get one of these, can you? I mean, I, I bought some seeds from her so she sends me, well she did, I've moved so I don't know if she'll be able to send. I'm just fussy cutting around as best I can, you know, I'm not going to do a brilliant job because I just want to see if it works. I don't want to take up your time. Um, any more than I have to. Although I can, um, this is a gorgeous flower. I love cosmos. I'm assuming that's what it is. I didn't look on the page to see what it was, but actually it might not be. The leaves don't look like, it looks more like an anemone. I'm trying not to, you know, give it any straight edges because it's obviously got some straight edges there. So there's the you know, you've got what you've got is you've got watercolour, you've got um, this, and then you've got a flower from a magazine, which you know, well, you think to yourself, well, that doesn't, I'm not happy with that. But just bear with me, you know, just keep keep the faith, and um, it will work. And and it, the the thing is not to feel uncomfortable with this type of collage. It's it's um practicing doing things that maybe you would be uncomfortable with. I'm going to take it over the edge on this because I love it. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm going to take now I could add another flower. It doesn't have to be just one. I could add a whole garden of flowers. I'm going to take it over the edge and I love that. I think that looks great. So that's one. Let's have a look, see what I can hear, and then we'll see. And if, this, if I can't see, if something doesn't pop out at me. See, that pops out at me. They do. That does. The only thing is, is I need something else. If I'm putting something like that down, I need something else. So this is quite challenging, but I think would look nice. Let me cut that out. Just took 
a bit of a risk there, but anyway, just for time's sake. So I'm thinking I'm just going to try and fussy cut this a little bit. But I don't want it to be looking. I mean, I can't, you know. It's... Oh, sorry, you couldn't see me. I hope I haven't been doing that throughout. It's really frustrating. I apologise if I have. <clears throat> I'm just going round in a crude way, you know, not, um, I can't possibly, the only way that I could do that is if I did it with my knife and I, you know, I wouldn't attempt that on camera. <laughs> I would do it, I would do it on my own though, but this is, isn't particularly strong paper, so it might be, it's okay though, I don't mind doing this, it's quite, quite nice to do. I like the green background as well. I think that might add something extra. But we'll see. It might maybe it won't work. You know, you, you've got to decide what works and whether you like it or not. It's a personal taste and you you know some people wouldn't like the glossiness. I'm not keen on glossy papers. But I want to challenge, you know, how I think about this sort of work. Um, you know, I don't want everything perfect because I'm so, I, that's how I work, is I like everything to be perfect. I'm not, don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm a perfectionist in every way, I, but when I'm working, I do like things to look right. And to me, you know, that sort of often comes at a cost because then, you know, it means you're working you're not creating, you're not pushing your boundaries, pushing yourself to create something that you feel uncomfortable with. Now, we're only talking about collage here, you know, we're not talking about um, anything serious. <laughs> just, but yeah, I'm just making the point, just go with it. If this is all you have, don't discard it just because it's all you have. Look at the potential in it and the possibilities and whether this will work. I mean, I like the fact that it's sort of all over the place because then maybe, I can take those tips off there, maybe, um, you know, you'll be able to see the background and it will complement the background and um, yeah, it could look really lovely. So there we go. Right, I'm going to move all that out of the way so it doesn't distract us. Now, let's see. Would that work there or there? I'm just going to put a piece of paper over the edge. I think that works. Let me try it on this one. Oh yeah, I like it with that one. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. I haven't even tried that one but yeah I like it on this one. The only thing is it does cover a lot of the yellow off but I really like it there. I might even go as far as there. There. All right, let me just <clears throat> yeah glue it on. I've been using this to glue and it's getting sticky, so I'm going to use my board. When you're gluing something like this, and I'm, I'm not talking to experienced, those experienced of you, I don't want you to think I'm patronising you in any way, shape or form, but for those of you who are just starting out, always start from the centre and go outwards when you're gluing something like this. Right. I love it. I love that. I'm going to cut that off. Yeah, I, I really do like that. 
Now it will need something here because it's sort of all in one place. So let's have a look at the two of them. Yep, like them too. Now for these two, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take out of the book. I, I really struggle taking things out of books. I love that. That would be perfect. So I think for one of them, I'm going to be using this. So I'm just going to cut this out. Shame I'm cutting that rose. All right, there we go. It's done. <laughs> Even though it hurt my heart. <laughs> fussy cutting again sorry guys it has to be done i will actually i'll fast forward um you know i will um i'm not gonna keep those um yeah don't worry i will cut out this bit Okay, so um, what I've done is off screen is I have added, I fussy cut this out of the book uh, that I showed you and then I fussy cut a flower that I drew some time ago and I thought I would add this somewhere, I think there. Um, so that would be my four flowers, so from different sources. So I will glue this on, I'm just going to... I'll use my board. I'll be good. I'll be good. Now with this, you, with this, you could um, colour it in. You know, you don't have to leave it black and white or, you know, um, just the, the, the sketch. You could do something with it. So um, that would be up to you, whatever you wanted to do. So if you do your own sketches and you can see this isn't an expert sketch. This is a very, very simple sketch. That, um, a quick sketch in fact it was done very very quickly um, and you know you can if you if you're not um, competent you oh confident not competent sorry I did not mean to say that if you're not confident you could um, trace something or you know do something like that now I like it white like that I'm gonna leave it like that for the minute now what I want to do is just finish them off a little bit with some um, I don't know just some extra medium uh, different types of media um, now actually I quite like the idea of maybe putting some of this on just got this I looked at it and I just thought you know that would look really nice across oh, I don't know if I can get it off handy there we go I think this would look really nice uh, let me think where to put it here there I think it could have gone on the other side actually but it doesn't matter let's put another one. Oh yes I'm going to put it here actually I might go over the edge there yes I like that there so you're just adding elements you know um, whatever you th you like um, Right, thinking where to put this because I like this. Down here or there. No, I want it. Oh. Not sure now. Maybe here. Yeah, I like it there. 
just going to put that off there. Yes, I like that. It's different. It's upside down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Numpty. Numpty, numpty. Right, what I'll do is I'll put some glue on. Because it took some paper off. And I took it off. And I'll put it the right way up. Actually, oh. Oh yeah, okay. Done it again. I want it above the line. So yeah, again, something else, something different. So these obviously are not nothing like the other ones that I did. You know, I mean, I'm not... Um, This one, which one? This one. I'm not trying to recreate the others. I like that. In fact, I prefer that to that, but it's on now. So I'm, st I'm sticking with it, my choices. Right, let's have another look then. What else can we do? Some splatters. Now, I don't know if that might lift the tape and that's okay. Um, I won't do anything too crazy. I like the gold on these two. Um, Posca pen. Let's have some Posca pen. I don't think this is going to be the right colour, is it? Yes, I like that. Then we go down here. I like that. I don't think I'll put any on that one. Did that one. What about this one? Oh, I love this. I'm going to use my Posca pen as well, just put the lid on that, to do some white dots. Okay. some white dots here yep happy with those I want to, when I do the white dots, I like them to look like they're coming from the side of something. You know, they're not just dangling in the air from out of nowhere. Good. Like that. I think I've done them all, have I? No, I didn't do this one. Okay. Right, actually I don't like that. Right, 
Okay, so um, I like that. Now, do we need anything else? Splatters, maybe some some paint splatters. I think so. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my shimmering watercolors. Just because I want to. All right, just going to pause a second. Okay, back. I just want to get some clean water. So, right, let's do some of this. All right, now colour-wise, um, I like to go for gold. So I'm going to go for gold initially. This will do it quickly enough. Hopefully. The gold doesn't show up straight away, so just so you're aware. Um, um, the effect is quite subtle at first. You you don't see... That's not going to come out. It's too many more water. It's more of a shimmer. That's better. Is that coming off? No. Whoops. I want to get a little bit on there, though. That's it. Uh, I think I went a bit crazy here, so I'm going to take some of that off. It won't actually take it off, it'll just make it less obvious, but it will still shimmer. But I did go a little bit crazy with it. I've gone crazy on that one as well. It'll be okay because it just shimmers. It doesn't do much other than shimmer. I think I want a different colour in there. And do purple. I wanted colour on there and colour is what I'm having. Too much there. Love it, absolutely love it. Good. Loving that. Right. That's it for me, I think. I, I, you know, it's got a fair few um, elements in it that you can, you know, hopefully take inspiration from me. I think I needed to do something here because that got damaged. But, um, you know, I'm happy with it as it is. Maybe I should put something there. What about a bit of this? saying I'm happy with it. Uh, what about that? Yeah, I just think it, it adds something extra. Even though I like, I tend to like um, let me try a bit of this. I think this needs something else. Yeah, 
I like that. Good. So I'm really happy with them. Um, I hope you like them. Uh, and I, I'm sorry if anything was out of shot there. Um, it's really difficult trying to keep everything in the in this face, but I really love them. I hope you like them. They're very different from the other ones that I did, but um, yeah, I hope you like them. And I hope you like that session. Um, and next time we'll do some more techniques. So um, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you joined. If you joined in, let me know. Let me know what you did. And I'll see you again very soon. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. And um, yeah, I look forward to doing the next video. Bye for now.